Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Well, I'm in Rockport, Texas. I've been back from my uh, Lake Corpus Christi trip for a few days. And I'm just checking the weather here. And uh, it's going to be kind of like this, just overcast and cloudy and gray. There's a nice little uh, blue herring right there in the water. Just driving along uh, Fulton Beach Road. Going to cut through uh, Fulton, Texas, and then be back in Rockport. Yeah, but um, I think what I want to do is for the next... I don't know, two or three days, go down to uh, Falcon Lake along the Mexican border. So, from what I understand, cell phone signals are very bad in that area. And just as a precaution, I'm going to post some videos online ahead of time. And uh, if I can't get videos posted from where I'm at, those videos will be online uh, just so there's something there at five o'clock in the morning so you guys don't know I've passed away or fled <laughs> so I just wanted to take a ride along the water it's uh it's in the mid 60s it was windy earlier and then the wind died down so it's, it's not, you know, it's not raining. It's not, you know, bad weather. It's just cloudy, and I find days and days of that pretty depressing, you know? I wouldn't even mind if it was raining, something productive, but we're, uh, we're in a drought, and uh, there's all your ducks. For all you people that don't have your ducks in a row, there's your ducks right there. Everyone's got their own pier here. But yeah, I, I uh, it's weird. I checked out one state park down there. And they're not taking reservations. You just show up. And then I checked out uh, Falcon Lake State Park. And you can make reservations for your uh, water and electric sites. But for a camping site, there's no reservations. It's all walk-on. You know, you got to go there and find out I just thought that was weird because I'd hate to drive you know 170 miles and not be able to get into the place but from what I understand it's open but uh, I'll be more of an expert on the uh, situation tomorrow it's a nice little house there's a car coming up behind us so I'm gonna pull over and give him lots of room to pass there's a couple cars coming. This way I can uh, chit chat. Thank you. Thanks for going around us. I think we got one more. Yep, one more. And we're good for a while. I was thinking about doing a live stream the other night, and I'm glad I didn't because the sunset was kind of a dud. Of course, the nights we've had the beautiful sunsets. You know, you guys have seen them in the videos. I didn't do a live stream then, but right now it does feel like it's kind of misty now. But uh, there's actually no rain in the forecast for the next week. It's just clouds or sun and clouds every day. And I do really enjoy getting to go see something new. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Just a little road trip. Get out there. See something new. Uh, Rusty78609 is also in Falcon Lake. So I would probably, if I went there for a few nights, have a visit with him again. Listen to some stories. And uh, 
had two people stop by Rockport Beach today and say hello. One of them has a blog, uh, Old Fat Man Adventures. <laughs> and I saved that. I haven't checked it out yet, but uh, this was just like an hour ago. But I did uh, save that, so I will check it out. And uh, another guy, uh, Jim, from uh, Washington State. And then another guy, just real br uh, briefly stopped by, said hi. I'm sorry, I forget that name. And then there was a drive-by guy that said hi, a local that I see from time to time, good guy. So I got a lot of visitors today, so I didn't get nothing done. <laughs> Did a little uh, editing on a video. What we got here? Truck on the road. Yeah. Pretty cool. But you can tell it's... The sun has come in and out a little bit. And you can see it's kind of a little bit clear over there. Ooh, there's some bumps in the distance. See what's going on. We got some guys working up here. We'll let this truck coming at us come through. This way we can look at the water without blocking the road. Our excuse will be there's people working up there. It is nice and it's pretty out. We'll just wave people. I'm actually waving these oncoming cars through so they know. So they know that I know that they know that I know that I'm telling them to go. But they know it. The guy on the blue tractor here fell asleep. There's your sign. Nope, he's not asleep. He's dead. <laughs> and now there's an, at least one car behind me. By the way, guys, when you when you drive a little tiny car, never tailgate an old guy in a pickup because sometimes our arthritis kicks in and our foot slams on the brake. And then we hear a little ting and your whole front end is just crushed in. It's just crushed in, Ray. Lady with a dog. Let me see. Let me see your dog, lady. I do love a good dog. But I'm getting that itch to get on the road. <clears throat> go through some towns that I haven't been to in a long time. Excuse me, what is this? <clears throat> I'm going to pull over up here in the rich neighborhood to let this car by so there'll be no violence. We're at that rich people spot. There we go. But Falcon Lake is uh, part of a reservoir that kind of joins in with the Rio Grande River. And north of there is Rio Bravo, Rio Bravo, Texas, which is the name of a John Wayne movie. And since it's the name of a John Wayne movie, I might be going to Rio Bravo. That's what gets me, uh, that's what got me to Hondo, Texas, was it was a John Wayne movie, so I gotta go there. Now, another thing I wanna do is ask Devin or Jake or Mark to get out the Devin cam or the Jake cam or the Mark cam and come over here at night and film this new pier with the green lights and it also has the underwater uh, green fishing lights so I want to ask them to uh, walk to the end and film it for us so I think that would be neat and now uh, that's at uh, Fulton Pier what's going on up here I see flashy cop lights uh oh who's got warrants Carl, I just figured you got a warrant. Benson, Fred, I know they're looking for me. 
Well, I'm going to end the video here, guys. This might be some coronavirus shots or something going on here. I'll let you know what it is. Maybe add it uh, to the uh, overdub section. You guys stay safe. And thanks for watching. Well, guys, I did ask the police officer, and they are getting their coronavirus shots. You can see they have a couple mobile tents set up. People get in line, get their shot, move on. So, don't know who it's for, what the age group is. Is it just for first responders? I have no idea. But, pretty cool. Progress.